This is Nicole from Pretty Hard Body. I am so excited that I can see the camera lens. Ow! Oh my God, this is crazy. <laughs> Hello, this is Nicole from Pretty Hard Body. Today, you're going to watch me make a pot of cabbage using organic peppers and onions and my favorite seasonings. The first step I do, I always have to remove the freaking price tag and the organic sticker off the peppers. I don't know why these people keep putting these stickers directly on our produce, but the best way I figured out how to do it is just cut it out and toss so now that I've done that, I wash the peppers and the next step is removing all of the seeds. So what I'm doing here, I'm just removing the top of the pepper because as you'll see in a second, if I slice it off the right way, yes, all of the seeds will remain intact. That means I will not have a bunch of seeds all over my kitchen chow and watch me work. Yes, I am back and I am dicing my one sweet organic Vidalia onion. It's so interesting because when I was younger, I would make cabbage and I would never use onion, like ever. Always using onion powder, but never onion. But this um, pot of cabbage is really about having clean ingredients. So I'm purposely using sweet onions, organic onions, organic peppers, and clean ingredients. And it is so bomb. You're going to love it. I can't wait for you to try it. It's going to be so good. Hello again. I'm back and I just removed the outer layers of the cabbage and tossed them to wherever they belong. Here I'm working with cutting off the core of the cabbage. This particular core was hard AF and my knife is super dull, so it's taking me a little time and I'm certainly struggling. But um, when it comes to beginning cutting my cabbage, sometimes I work with the core first, sometimes I don't. It's totally up to me. It just depends on what my vibe is for the day. So now that the core is gone, I'm moving it off to the side and I'm also um, cleaning off the area a little bit because my brother actually taught me years ago that when you're cooking, you should always try to keep your areas clean. So I'm working on the side of the cabbage and I'm just hacking it down, right? And my goal is to turn this big ball into a bunch of like cabbage leaves. I don't have any method of operation when it comes to cutting my cabbage. I cut it in a way that makes sense for me on any given day. But as I continue to chop it through, it just starts showing up in different shapes and in forms. And it's like, okay, well, I'll put it on the side and I'll get this piece and then cool and put those off to the side because I'm collecting all of the leaves into a bowl, which you can't see. And now I'm cutting off the other side and now you're noticing the cabbage is getting smaller. It's no longer looking like a big ball. And this is it. Again, no rhyme or reason, just doing what feels right. I know how I'd like to eat my cabbage. I know that I don't like certain pieces in my cabbage. So when it comes to like getting too deep into all that thick, thick, thick core, I'm pretty much gonna wrap it up. So there you go.
All right, we are ready to take these onions to our preheated pan and they are sizzling. And this is one medium organic Vidalia onion, which Vidalia onions are really sweet, which is why I use them. And I also cook with sea salt and I also use black pepper. And both of these ingredients are organic because again, this is a clean pot of cabbage. So I'm browning the onions up. I'm mixing it because I love watching onions cook and I love the way they smell when they cook, like it's everything. But now I'm re-adding my expeller press avocado oil because as I was cooking, I felt like the pan was a little too dry. So I added a little more oil and it's a pretty forgiving thing to do because you know, it's just cooking. Now in go my red and orange organic peppers and I'm mixing them all up together. My house smells amazing and I need these things to cook. But before that, I'm gonna hit them up with a little garlic powder because seasoning. I'm gonna hit them up with a little onion powder because seasoning. And then I'm also gonna hit it up with just a little bit more black pepper because you know, seasoning. I'm mixing it up and I'm gonna put the top on it and let the magic happen. My onions and peppers smell amazing. I have my bowl of freshly washed cabbage right next to the stove for convenience, and I'm layering in my first layer of cabbage. If you would think of like a lasagna where you put one layer in and then you put another layer in, that's what making this cabbage is about. There's my garlic powder, put the garlic powder. There's the onion powder, put the onion powder. Then I'm putting a little other seasoning. There's that black pepper again. Oh, all purpose, hey girl. So now more cabbage goes in and every time I put cabbage in, I'm gonna pretty much repeat the same process. I'm gonna re-season, I'm gonna mix everything up with the peppers and onions because cabbage is the type of vegetable, one, it cooks super duper fast, and two, it absorbs all the flavors of anything you cook with it. You can see how it's wilting and changing colors. It cooks so quickly. And that's pretty much the process, right? We put a layer of cabbage, we put a layer of seasonings, we mix it all up and just make sure all your leaves get a little like dirty looking. We don't want that clean, bright white cabbage. We want everything to look like it's been through something that it has some seasoning, some black pepper, some garlic powder, onion powder, your all purpose seasoning. These are the seasonings that I use just about for everything. There is no water in this pan. The pan is on a medium heat and I'm just stir frying until my heart's content and my neighbors are like, what is she doing? Okay, I hope your neighbors are saying the same. Oh, and FYI, you see that sweet coconut milk cornbread on my plate with the black eyed peas? Yes, those videos can be found in the same playlist. Have fun.